Hi! In this video, I'll show you how to make ESB for Unity games using an Android device. Before we begin, let me explain what ESB is and how it's useful in mods. You can see features like ESB lines, boxes, alert, counter, and lists. They help track enemy locations and provide useful info about them. ESP is especially useful in shooting games, giving you an edge, by revealing player positions and info. Now, let's start the tutorial and learn how to create them from scratch. I'm using an emulator, but you can use your Android device. Make sure you know the basics of mod menus if not, watch the mod menu tutorial first. I'll use the latest LGL mod menu for this tutorial, the original menu link is in the description. Anyway, extract the mod menu and open it in the AID app. Always refresh the build source when opening it in IDE app for the first time, this helps prevent crashes. Since I'm making ESB for ARM32, I'll remove ARM60 for lib compilation from the source. I'll also comment out the examples in main.cpp. This is our original menu, we'll be adding ESB to it. First, we need to create the ESBView.java file. I'll share the link of this source in the description and also provide the code on my website and app. ESPView creates an overlay for rendering ESP, it updates continuously to draw elements like lines. We're getting an error because menu, Draw doesn't exist yet as we haven't written the code for it. Now, let's add the ESP code to menu.java. The ESP view class works like a regular Java view, so we need to use it like other views and layouts in Java. We'll declare ESP view as an instance variable so we can access it throughout the class. Just like the normal view, we'll instantiate ESP view after the class is called. We need to add ESP view to the window manager to display it as an overlay. Since our menu already uses a window manager to show in the overlay, we can use the same window manager to show ESP view as an overlay. We need to create window manager, lilt params for ESP view to ensure it is not touchable. Write the window manager, lilt params code exactly as I did. Instead of comma, write vertical bar. This makes our view non-touchable. By the way, I forgot to mention that in this tutorial, we'll only add the overlay. In the next tutorial, we'll draw the line on players. Now that we've written the window manager, layout params code for ESP, we can add ESP view to the window manager. Now, let's write the draw code in menu, Java. Since we call the drawing from C++, we need native code to call the Java code from C++. If you get an error with Canvas, long press it and import Android, Graphics, Canvas. Calling ESP from C++ requires a lot of code, so first, we'll test if the drawing works by calling it from Java, if it works, then we'll call it from C++. I'll use random values in drawline for testing purposes. 
Now, let's build the source and test if the drawing works. As you can see, the line is showing, which means the drawing is working. Let's change the line color from red to blue. The color of line changed from red to blue. Since the drawing is working, I'll remove the testing code. By the way, there's one problem with the ESP. Even if we minimize the menu, the drawing still shows. To fix this, we can do the following. Write this code under on Destroy and set visibility functions to fix the drawing issue when exiting or minimizing. I'm confident this code will work, so I won't test it. However, you can test it to make sure it works for you. Now, we'll call the drawing code from C++, so I'll uncomment the native code. If you compile the project now, it might crash, because we haven't written the JNI code in C++ yet. Follow these steps to call the drawing function from C++. First create the draw ESP folder where we'll store the drawing related files. Now, create two header files, autotypes.h and drawingmanager.h. Open the drawing manager file. Include autotypes.h and create the draw ESP function in the drawingmanager.h file. Save the drawing manager file and open autotypes file. Include jni.h. Paste the auto drawing code, I'll provide this code on my website. In the drawline function, we used vector2 and color types, so we need to create structs for them. This is how we can create vector2 and color struct. Now, go to the menu folder and open setup.cpp. Include the drawing manager.h. Now, declare the auto drawing class as a variable. Now, write the JNI code for the draw function. Follow these steps and don't make any mistakes here. Copy the get feature list code and paste below it. Change the name to draw. Here write LCOM Android support ESP view and L Android graphics canvas and V. We need to include the setup file in main CPP. For that, we need to rename the setup.cpp file to setup.h. Also remove the setup.cpp from android.mk. Now include the setup.h in main.cpp. Now I'll remove these default features list.
To check if the drawing works, I'll add to toggles and seek bars. First, let's create variables whose values will be changed using toggles and seek bars. In the draw ESP function, we'll add a condition that checks if the enable ESP variable is false, if it is, the function will return immediately, preventing the code below from executing. The draw line code will run only if ESP line is true, and the start and end positions of the line can be controlled using seek bars. Anyway, in this video, we're only adding drawing to the overlay, so I'll explain these codes in another video. We'll control only the X position with seek bars, the Y position will stay fixed at 0 and 1000. Add the variables under switch cases to allow changes through the view. Now let's compile the project. I think I made a mistake in the JNI code, so it's showing settings list instead of features list. There are two settings list entries, likely a mistake while duplicating features list code, I'll fix it and recompile the project. After enabling ESB line, a red line appears, let's move it using seek bars. As you can see, the line is moving, which means our drawing is working perfectly. Now let's understand the code. DSP View class is a custom view that can draw on the screen and works similarly to other views like Linear Layout and Switch. In menu.java, first we add the native draw function so the drawing can be called from C++. Then we declare an instance variable for ESP view, so it can be accessed anywhere in the class. Then, like other views, we instantiate ESP view when the class is opened. Then, we add ESP view to the window manager to display it as an overlay. We also create layout params to make it non-touchable and fit the screen properly. Here, if the menu is minimized, ESP view will be hidden, and if the menu is destroyed, ESP view will be removed as well. In setup.h, we add the JNI declaration for the native draw function. And in drawing manager, we create the draw ESP function, which is called inside the JNI draw function. In autotypes.h, we declare the structs and the auto drawing class. This class is linked to espview.java using the JNI method. Lastly, in main.cpp, we write the features list to display the views in the menu and use a switch case to change variable values. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, in the next part, we'll show the line on the actual players in the game, if you have any questions or issues, feel free to comment on this video.